मैथ्स रसल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्लास 10 चैप्टर 1 वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस आई एम श्योर इट विल बी हेल्पफुल टू यू फॉर योर कमिंग टर्म एंड एग्जामिनेशन हियर वी हैव अ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ टू पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स ए एंड बी आर रिकॉग्नाइज्ड ए इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब वाई स्क्वायर एंड बी इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाई क्यूब वेयर एक्स एंड वाई आर प्राइम नंबर्स देन एच सी एफ ऑफ ए बी इज दैट here we are given two numbers a and b we have to find the hcf of these two numbers we are given a is equal to x cube y square b is equal to x y cube so we have to find the hcf of these two numbers we know that hcf is the product of the smallest power of each common prime factor smallest power of each common prime factor here we have x cube and x x is the x is the smallest power of the prime, common prime factor so therefore x will be taken again y square y cube y square is the smallest power of the common prime factor therefore our answer is x y square as is f is x y square our correct option is c here we have a second question is if two positive integers p and q can be expressed as p is equal to a b square and q is equal to a q b where a and b being prime numbers then lcm of p q is that to find the lcm of p and q we have to select the uh, greater product of the greatest power product of the greatest power of each prime factor involved in the numbers product of the greatest power of each prime factor involved in the given two numbers here we have p is equal to a b square q is equal to a q b we have to find the product of the greatest power product of the greatest power of each prime factor involved in the given two numbers therefore we have the greatest power of a we have a q okay b square b greatest power b square therefore the lcm of the given two numbers a and b is equal to a q b square uh, correct answer is a q b square therefore option c is the correct answer here we have a third question is the ratio between the lcm and hcf of 5 15 and 20 is dash we have to find the ratio between the lcm and hcf we already know that how to find the lcm and hcf we are given three numbers 5 b c 5 itself a prime number 15 can be written as 5 into 3 20 can be written as 5 into 2 square we have to find the lcm and hcf and then we find the ratio between the lcm and hcf we can we know how to find the lcm lcm means the product of the greatest power uh, greatest power of each prime factor involved in it Uh, we have the lcm is equal to uh, each prime factor greatest power 5 into 3 into 2 square 5 is the it's a 5 uh, is the greatest here 3 here 2 square therefore 15 into 4 we have 60 okay hcf is equal to product of the uh, smallest power in each common prime factor product of the smallest power of each common prime factor here we have common only one is the common therefore hcf is equal to 5 now we have to find the ratio ratio between lcm and hcf ratio between the lcm and hcf we have ratio 60 by 5 therefore 5 in uh, 12 times is 60 therefore 5 12 is 60 therefore answer is equal to 12 by 1 ratio is equal to 12 is to 1 therefore the ratio between lcm and hcf is equal to 12 is to 1 therefore our correct answer is option d 12 is to 1 our next question is two alarm clocks ring their alarms at regular intervals of 50 seconds and 48 seconds if they first beep together at twelve noon at what time will they beep again for the first time they already beep together at twelve noon at what time will they be again for the first time now the uh, required answer is the lcm of 50 and 48 first of all we have to find the lcm of 50 and 48 we have 50 we have the prime factors 50 prime factors of 50 we have 5 2 times 5 2 times 2 1 times 
in 48 we have the prime factors 2 uh, 2 is uh, the factor 2 24 again we can take 2 12 2 6 2 3 here we have 2 4 times here we have 2 4 times and 3 1 time therefore the LCM is equal to greatest prime factor of greatest power of each prime factor greatest power of each prime factor means greatest power of each prime factor phi square 2 raised to 4 into 3 greatest power of each prime factor therefore we get 25 into 16 into 3 the product is 1200 seconds we have to convert one seconds can be converted to minute we want to convert seconds into minute 1200 seconds means when we convert second into minute divided by 60 we have got, we got 20 minutes 20 minutes okay hence 1220 hence 1220 12 pm will they be again for the first time therefore our answer is option a 1220 pm okay our next question is there are 576 boys and 448 girls in a school that are to be divided into equal sections of either boys or girls alone the total number of sections thus formed are we have to find the total number of sections how many sections can be formed with these children uh, in girls sections we have to make only girls in boys section there should be only boys like that how many sections can be formed before we find the number of sections can be formed we need to know uh, in, uh, maximum number of students in each section that means hcf for the given two numbers maximum students in maximum students in each section Maximum students in each section is equal to HCF of 576 and 448. Uh, 576 we have prime factors 2, 2 times, 2 is a, 2 is a, 2, 1, 4, 4, 2, 7, 2, 2, 3, 6, 2, 1, 8, 2, 9, 3 3 3 like this 448 prime factors we have 2 2 4 2 1 1 2 2 5 2 6 2 2 8 2 1 4 2 7 7 1 5 76 is equal to 2 we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and 2 we have 6 times 3 2 times like this in 448 we have how many times 2 we have 2 how many times 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 times one time okay therefore hcf is the common it is a common least power common therefore 2 raised to 6 is the hcf 2 raised to 6 means we have 64 students 2 5 times 32 2 6 times 64 therefore we, we know that in each class how many students should be there maximum 64 students like this how many sections can be formed that we, we know that in boys section only boys should be there in girls section only girls therefore uh, we, we need to know how many sections can be formed 576 by 64 plus 448 by 64 therefore 564 how many times in 564 how many times in 500 76 9 times okay therefore uh, 576 boys means girls we have 9 sections uh, we have uh, boys 9 sections are there girls we have 64 into 7 okay girls section we have 7 total number of boys section girls section together we have 9 plus 7 16 is the answer there are 16 sections should be there therefore our correct answer is 16 that means option b is the correct answer